Okay, in this video, I'll explain what you mean by dynamic initialization of objects. I'll be talking about dynamic initialization of objects. I'll be talking about dynamic initialization of objects. Now, see, this is a very simple concept. It's nothing much. Uh, this will not take me much time to explain. See, what happens is here, you can see I have passed, especially for constructor such as this see here when i'm passing when i'm calling or when a statement will invoke a parameterized constructor see this will invoke this constructor the parameterized constructor now when i have such statements what am i doing i'm passing the value directly i'm passing 20 and i'm passing 40 so let's say what happens is every time i run this program 20 or 40 will be passed now if i want to change the values that i want to pass to the constructor then i have to change it every time in this statement so the values that are being passed to my constructor and as a result the values that the data members of my object i2 are getting are fixed now if i want to add a dynamism to this that means if i want the value to change as and when the user wants then what should i do then instead of passing the values 20 and 40 what i can do is i can pass variables so what i can do here is here i can include a few statements so I can say, I can ask the user for values of the data members. So I can say, I can print out a statement, enter, let's say enter first value, enter first value. Now seeing this, seeing this, the user will enter a value and I'll accept the value. Let's say I have two variables, let's call them X and Y. So I'll accept it in X. And let's say I'll accept the next value as well in Y. So instead of saying enter the first value, what I'll do is I'll say enter the values. So I'll say enter the values. So the user, the user will enter two values and the first value will be stored in X and the next value will be stored in Y. Now, instead of passing 20 and 40, what I do is I decide to pass X and I decide to pass Y. So what will happen? Because of this change, because of this change where I decide to pass variables, where I decide to pass variables x and y instead of constants like we saw previously, there is a dynamism to my object creation. That means every time this program runs, the user can come up with different values of x and y and those different values can be passed to the data members of object i2. As a result, the values of the data members of the object will change from time to time and it will depend on the runtime execution of the program no longer will it be static okay so this is what you mean by dynamic initialization of objects where the values that are passed to the data members are changed at runtime so i hope this helps if you have any doubts you can leave them in the comment section below thank you